We want to tell you as well that tomorrow Washington is going to tackle an SOS from 6 million Americans. And listen to this figure. College students now owe $950 billion in student loans. And that's more than the entire credit card debt in this country. Somebody broke back home with mom and dad before they even get started. And thousands of you wrote us with your stories. So ABC's David Muir decided to dive more deeply into what can be done. More than a thousand of you sent us your three words, graduates, drowning in debt, worried parents back in their old roles again. There was this graduate, nearly $25,000 in debt, just getting started, paying it off. This graduate, 78000 in debt, will never end. And this young woman, 100000 in debt, moved back home. Something we heard from so many of you. Graduate Ashley Meyer took us into her Dallas bedroom. This is my room. The same bed she slept in before she went to college, the same dresser, the only thing different, the pile of bills. These are some of my lovely student loans. Ashley graduated from UT Austin, about 70000 in debt. She pays $750 a month, which is why she's back with the family dog. That's Daisy. With Dad, back with Mom, who, just like she used to, asks her college grad if she'll be home at a decent hour. So we're going to leave them alone and let them watch the game. Leaving them alone, but still living down the hall. One recent survey of this year's college graduates revealed 85% saying they'd be moving back home. 5.9 million young adults, 25 to 34, now live at home, up 25% in just the last four years. You can talk to people in this generation who find themselves in a place they never expected to be, four, five, six years out of school and back in the bedroom they had in high school. The president and first lady have spoken often of the student loans they both had, still paying them off nine years into their marriage, until just a few years before he was president. But the amount of student debt in this country is up dramatically, college tuition spiking, just as young graduates are unable to find work to pay it off. You are seeing this tremendous debt which weighs down these young people, especially in an economy like this where so many of them are having trouble getting on those first steps of the escalator and beginning a career. There was 26-year-old Carolyn Riley who simply said, spirit not broken. She too now lives back with her mother and her brother, also a college graduate who's back home. She's $109,000 in debt. She's paid off 6000 so far. Who doesn't want the American dream? And I'm not even talking about living in a mansion. We all just want a nice paying job where we can pay our bills. Bye. A kiss from mom before they're off for the day, just like when she was a little girl. Now grown up, but back home, just like Ashley back in Texas, saying simply, still have hope. And tonight we are learning more about that SOS Diane mentioned, a new plan from President Obama to help college students reduce their monthly payments, consolidate federal student loans, and lower interest rates. But we're going to crunch the numbers right here tomorrow night and ask the big question, Diane, will it help any of the people you just met there in will our report? Will it work? And still having hope. Very moving. Thank you. Are you currently facing student loan problems? Then don't wait another minute to see if we can help resolve your federal student loan issues. It really is as easy as making a one five minute call. Find out if we can help you consolidate all your federal student loans into one easy payment. Lower your payments and even in some cases by much as 50%. Lower your interest rates, get flexible repayment options, stop harassing collection agency calls, and administrative garnishment in as little as eight weeks. Call toll free 1-888-8900. 0777 to speak with a counselor now or for more information visit us online at www.consolidatemystudentloan.org